Once you've added target and source equipment to a model, you're ready to add pipe. Well, not quite. Before adding the pipe, you need to check out the system definitions. To do this, you must make sure you started your drawing from a template. If you've used the Project Navigator, you probably already have. Pipe system definitions are configured for two primary purposes, to control the display properties and to set single line graphic values. From the ribbon, Manage tab, select the Style Manager. You can also click the Piping System Definition shortcut under Style Manager. When the Style Manager opens, under Piping Objects, select the Pipe System Definitions. There are already several that are defined in this drawing. This is a sample of the systems that are loaded in the master drawing, systemdefinitions.dwg, which is located in your content folder. Click the Chilled Water System Definition. The right tab will show several tabs. General sets the name and description of the system. This data can be used in schedules. Design rules set the abbreviation and system group. The system group prevents items from dissimilar systems from being connected together. Design rules also includes one of the more important settings, the layer. Autodesk uses an alias known as a layer key, which is linked to a database. While this section does not go into detail about editing system definitions, know that this alias will help you comply with the National CAD standard. As you add piping, the layer will be created if it doesn't exist, or it will be used if it does. If the layer is created, the color, line type, line weight, and other layer features are pulled from the layer key style and used to make the layer. You can change the key at any time, but changing the system will only affect new piping, not piping that has already been created. Single line graphics are unique to pipe objects. For example, you might like to show all piping below 3 inches as a schematic single line, with all fitting tick marks the same size. On large scale drawings with bigger pipe sizes, such as anything bigger than 3 inches, but less than 6 inches, the line shows as a single line, but also shows the tick marks of the actual size of the fittings. Anything above 6 inches is shown as a double line. Set the graphical one line to use 3 inches as the top size for sizes less than or equal to. Deselect the single line display so that any pipe bigger than 3 inches will show as a double line. AutoCAD MEP is unique in the industry in allowing this type of display behavior. Rise and drop relates to the image shown where piping is drawn vertically. Display properties at the system definition level let you control the specific layers for contours, center lines, single lines, hatches, insulation, crossed objects, and more. While this lesson does not cover editing these values, understand that by selecting the system definition when creating the pipe, you're saving all of this information to the pipe, as well as using it to help create consistent construction documents. Select OK to exit the dialog. Next, check the options. Before you create any pipe, you need to check some items. Type in OP on the command line and press Enter. Scroll to the MEP tabs. Remember the system group? On the MEP Layout Rule tab, there's a connection test mismatch setting. By default, AutoCAD MP will ask before it lets you connect systems that belong to two different groups. Leave this set to prompt for user input. Select the MEP Catalogs tab. The style-based content paths include a setting for the location of system definition drawings, which allows you to look for additional piping system definitions that may not be loaded into your drawing. Select OK to close the Options dialog. Now try creating an example of the single line graphics. Start the pipe command. From the properties palette, set the system to chilled water and the pipe routing preference to slip on flanged 150 pound and threaded. Set the size to 3 inches. In the drawing window, pick a start point and draw a short piece of pipe. It appears as a single line when the MEP design mechanical or pipe by size display configuration or set current. 
change the size to 6 inches, pick a reducer, and then draw another segment to continue. See how the small pipe is single line, but the large pipe is double line. This helps keep the construction documents clear. Now that you've reviewed these primary items, you're ready to start adding pipe to your model.